Today we are exposing the most toxic marriages in pop culture. First up, Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee. This relationship was so talked about and featured in tabloids that there was no way anyone could forget how insane it was. In the beginning, their relationship seemed like it was so much fun. Two people enjoying themselves and making crazy decisions all for love. However, it soon came to light that their relationship was quite toxic and a little over the top. The couple made an adult tape while on their honeymoon that somehow got leaked. There were allegations of harm both physical and mental. Yet they stuck it out and threw two kids into the mix. They eventually broke up but not before Tommy allegedly gave Pam hepatitis C and to this day their relationship is a little bit rocky. Next, Jessica Simpson and Nick Lachey. When pop princess Jessica Simpson married her longtime boyfriend Nick Lachey, people were under the impression that the couple would be together forever. They had already lasted for so long without being married, so how could marriage make matters worse? The couple signed on to do a reality show about their first year of marriage, but it ended up lasting for several years. It lasted the entire time they were married. The show gave the world the ammo they needed to antagonize the young couple and a few cats got out of the bag. There were cheating accusations. Lachey claimed that Jessica was sloppy and didn't know how to take care of herself. Ashley Simpson even admitted that her sister's marriage was riddled with tension. Number eight, Lindsay Lohan and Samantha Ronson. All eyes were on Lindsay Lohan and her interesting relationship with DJ Samantha Ronson. There were fights, slander, and substances in the mix. The paparazzi were constantly watching to see what these two would do next. Despite the drama, this couple was together for four long, toxic, and dramatic years. Everything and anything was written about them, especially Lindsay Lohan. They were caught fighting inside of clubs, outside of clubs, in the street while on a stroll. You name it, it probably happened. The two could never resolve their problems and they eventually broke up to the relief of both sides of the family and some fans. Number seven, Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. This one is still pretty fresh and let's be honest, not many people would call this relationship toxic. That being said, when you look at the signs, there is toxicity written all over it. The way they met was not the best. Brad Pitt supposedly cheated on Jennifer Aniston with Angelina Jolie. On top of that, add the kids, their jobs, and all the rumors that most likely had a little bit of truth in them. It's even more toxic now seeing as they are throwing one another under the bus during their divorce. Next up, Ozzy and Sharon Osbourne. The saint in this relationship is Sharon Osbourne. Being married to Ozzy Osbourne will always be an uphill battle. Sharon is not shy to share some of the outlandish things her husband has done to her in their 30 plus year of marriage. No matter what has happened or will happen, she will always be there. Sharon has accused Ozzy of physical harm on more than 10 occasions. She even wrote about it in her book, and the kids have touched on the topic in their books and interviews as well. Number five, Courtney Love and Kurt Cobain. All their drama took place in the 90s, but people still talk about it to this day. Courtney Love and Kurt Cobain were all wrong for each other and they knew it. Their relationship was a mixture of substance abuse and convenience. If they didn't have substance abuse problems, chances are their union probably never would have happened. The gossip magazines were all over this relationship and how could they not be? Accusations of threats, Physical and mental harm and way worse have been printed about the couple. Even to this day, 20 something years after Kurt Cobain's passing, there's still talk and speculation about that dramatic relationship. Number four, our favorite Rob Kardashian and Black China. One day Rob Kardashian is dating Black China, the next day they have a full on reality TV show. The show was supposed to document their relationship and how excited they both were to become parents. What the show did was expose every crack that relationship had and they didn't even last an entire season before breaking up. Black China was constantly yelling at Rob and on a few occasions she even threw things at him. Keeping it in the Kardashian family, Khloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson are next. 
The latest Kardashian relationship to kick the bucket in a big way was Khloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson. Fans of Khloe were so disappointed in her for giving Tristan another chance after he publicly cheated on her while she was in her third trimester. Regardless, Khloe forgave him and so did a lot of her fans, but behind the scenes, things were murky and the couple just couldn't get along. Well, that and in fact that Tristan was still cheating made for a very public and awkward breakup. Number two, Chris Brown and Rihanna. Chris Brown and Rihanna had one of the most talked about relationships. They always looked like the greatest couple. They often showed up and showed out at red carpets and they were both so successful. No one would have thought that Chris Brown was sometimes harmful to Rihanna. When news broke that Chris Brown and Rihanna got into a physical fight on the way to the Grammys one year, it was like the world stopped. All everyone wanted to talk about was the photos of Rihanna's injuries and trying to dig up anything negative they could find in Chris's past. However, this relationship and the situation will always go down as one of the most vile incidents in Hollywood history. And last but not least, at number one, Kourtney Kardashian and Scott Disick. Kourtney Kardashian and Scott Disick had a pretty down-to-earth relationship until Keeping Up With The Kardashians started airing. As the popularity rolled in, Scott started getting more bold with the moves he was making. Not only was he constantly cheating on Kourtney, but he also had a pretty bad drinking problem. With that concludes today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know who you think the most toxic couple in pop culture history was in the comment section down below. Make sure to like, comment, and share, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.